good evening ladies and gentlemen namaskaram namaste to everybody uh, when i standing here and looking to you oh my goodness everyone looking so beautiful and so charming so are you ready to blast this night are you ready yes if you are ready please give me a big round of applause okay so i welcome each and everybody to this fantabulous night and fantabulous evening of the reception of our beautiful bride and groom srinidhi and prashant was the clap i didn't hear yes thank you so here you have a beautiful performance by this this brand name confluence is are you ready for this band performance yes are you ready i can't hear you so if you are ready give a big 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 round of applause yes thank you thank you so much Good evening, all of you. And first of all, thank each and every one who are gathering here for this beautiful function. And thank each and every one of this family to give us a very good opportunity to perform here today. And the confluence. Obviously, you know what the meaning of confluence, and we hope you can feel. the real confluence musical feast also and i wish to introduce my accompany artist first mr reji on the keyboard sudendu on the lead guitar riju on the bass guitar rajesh on the percussion section and balu krishna on the tabla and myself from shivakumar on the violin We begin this concert with a Ganesha composition. Actually, we had a Zoom meet, and I have a list. What are the thing I have to perform? And 50% of list we already prepared, and 50% of things we can play for you also. And we begin our concert with a Ganavadi composition, composed and written by one of Trinity's Sri Muthu Swami Dikshita, set to rock. joke in the hindustani section it's known as in natai but we are playing on joke thank you very much
church. Yeah, how's the performance? How's the performance? I can hear you. Yes, so super. So give a big round of applause. Yeah, it's superb, superb performance. Yeah, everyone are ready, Leah. Yeah, make it, make some noise for your energy. Make some noise. Woo! Yes. So we know that how India has so many cultures, right? Yes. So we have so many cultures and unity in diversity is the one of the best and one of the unique in our Kerala and India's best thing. So here I welcome this beautiful traditional art form of India and the state of Kerala, like Kadagali and Mohiniyattam, Bharatanayatyam. But there is some interesting things. So there is some su surprise. Do you know what the surprise? Do you know? Yeah, we start our program. I welcome you. But voice our groom and bride. Without them, this program is nothing, right? Yeah, so we want to welcome. So, in this occasion, I welcome our beautiful, gorgeous bride and groom, Mr. Prashant and Srinidhi. So, they are coming with, they accompanied by our traditional art forms. So, this is the surprise element, which is the the performance, the art performance and our bride and groom are coming together to the stage. How's that? Interesting. Interesting. Yes, I can hear some claps from the back side. How was the claps from this side? Yes. So, let's welcome our bride and groom, Miss Job. Prashan and Srinidhi and the beautiful art form like Kathakali, Mohini Atam, Bharatanatyam, give a big round of applause to this beautiful performance.
from our pride and crew mr prashant and sriniti our art form is also ready so are you ready yes we are ready thank you thank you so much oh my god what a grand entry what a royal entry <laughs> yeah yeah you can see yes when i looking to both of you you are so beautiful and so charming right yeah both of both of them are so beautiful la nah? Oh my god your necklace is so amazing <laughs> yeah so how's the performance it was so beautiful and thank you so much for this beautiful performance so this is the time 
so we know that uh, when i when we start a performance when we start any program we we have so many uh, like program like traditional so this is the time to lightning the lamp so we know that some issues with we went so we relocate our lightning the lamp to the side of the restaurant so i welcome to the side of the restaurant to so here are some issues with wind so we re relocate our lightning lamp to the position which is side of the yeah side of the la side of your restaurant so please yeah Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So now that the bride and groom have arrived, we are going to be starting this evening's festivities with a traditional lighting of the lamp. Because there's high winds on the seashore, we've relocated the location of the lamp lighting to inside the restaurant for this evening. So Srinidhi, Prashant and the families are now making their way to the center of the restaurant where we will be lighting the lamp. Yeah, we know that these lights are the symbol of knowledge, brightness. And I wish this brightness will hold your, yeah, it's, yeah, I wish these lamps will hold your life, hold success and brightness. ceremony is completed so let's move to another ceremony 
Yeah, let's move to the next ceremony, cake cutting. Okay, I'm going to cake cutting. It's a symbol of love, happiness, joy, and everything. So, I welcome both of the bride and groom to the stage for cake cutting. So, give a big round of applause to our Prashant and Sriniti. So ladies and gentlemen, now that we've lit the lamp, we're going to proceed to um, the cutting of the cake and then uh, have some cultural performances uh, beyond that point. But right now, we're going to have the cutting of the cake. I'd also like to take this opportunity to invite the immediate family members of both Prashant and Srinadi to join them on stage for the cutting of the cake. So from Srinadi's side of the family, we have the parents, doctors Padma and Krishnamurthy. We have Shri Srinadi's brother Srinag. His wife Aditi and cute little Rishi joining us on stage now. And from the groom side, we have the parents Kamilji and Karanji who are going to join us on stage now. Kamil and Karun. We're going to have. We're going to have Tanuja and family as well. Vanuja and family as well. We're going to have Prashant's grandmother, Uma Bidesi, who's going to join us on stage. We're also going to have Sunila and Divya join us on stage as well, as well as Vanuja and Tanuja and their families join us on stage. Avi, Prashant's friend, join us on stage as well. Friend, comrade, brother from another mother. We have Akash join us on stage as well, please.
Ladies and gentlemen, lovely families, the immediate families of both Prashant and Srinidhi, now coming together to cut the cake and take us through to the rest of this evening. Yes, let's move to the next beautiful traditional art form, Kadagali. Yes, Namkar and Kadagali, Kerala Tindur Tanadaya, the traditional art form. So, it's too much the toughest title of art form, Kadagali. So, I welcome the artist to the stage. Are you ready? Yes, let's welcome for the Kadagali to the stage. Guys, please give a big round of applause. Our Kathakali team is here. Yes, let's enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a Kathakali performance. Kathakali is a classical dance and art form native to Kerala. And it is one of the few 
pure original classical dances of India. Kadagali literally translates to storytelling through dance. The word Kada means story, Kali is a word that translates to dance, and so Kadagali, storytelling through dance, incredibly nuanced, incredibly precise art form. Ladies and gentlemen, we present Kadagali. Yen Kanava Kandalum Ne Yen Kanava Kanava Kandalum Ne Yen
ನಿನ್ನ ವಾಂಜೀತ
ಪುಸ್ತಕಧಾರಿಣೀ ವರವೀಣಾ ಪುಸ್ತಕಧಾರಿಣಿ Ladies and gentlemen a huge round of applause for our cultural performances of the evening. We're now going to invite the band Confluence to entertain us with some light music and fusion music. On stage and around the stage we'll be taking some additional photographs and we invite everyone to have at it with the with the dinner counters. which are now officially open we'll have a little bit of mingling meet some meets and greets and then around the 9 pm mark we will have the next round of performances that are planned for the evening so enjoy your dinner enjoy confluence and we will see you again in some time
Subramaniam. Yeah.
So those who want to take uh, some pictures with the bride and groom, feel free to make your way to the stage. And uh, those who haven't yet uh, managed to try some of the fantastic food that's on offer today, please make your way to the food counters and uh, enjoy your evening until, until we meet again for the, the rest of the planned performances.
बनाती है जो तू वो याद जाने संग मेरे कब तक चले इन्हीं में तो मेरी सुबह भी ढले शाम ढले मौसम ढले ख्यालों का शहर तू जाने तेरे होने से ही आबाद है हवाएं हक में वही है आते जाते जो तेरा नाम ले देती है जो सदाए हवाएं
राजा लड़े फिर खिलौनों के लिए तू जीते मैं हार जाऊंगा राजा करे फिर वही शरारतें तू भागे मैं मार खाऊंगी वो गाली तेरी सुनने को तैयार हूँ मैं तेरा यार हूँ खुशियाँ च नचदा मैं फिरा हंजुआ तो बचदा मैं फिरा ओ जाते नहीं कहीं रिश्ते पुराने किसी नए के आ जाने से जाता हूँ मैं तो मुझे तू जाने दे क्यों परेशान है मेरे जाने से टूटा है तो जुड़ा है क्यों मेरी तरफ तू मुड़ा है क्यों हक नहीं तू ये कहे कि यार अब हम ना रहे एक तेरी यारी का तो जन्म हकदार हूँ मैं तेरा यार हूँ सफर मेरा है तो ही मेरी मंजिल तेरे बिना गुजारा ए दिल है मुश्किल तू मेरा खुदा तू ही दुआ में शामिल तेरे बिना गुजारा ए दिल है मुश्किल
യെസ് അടുത്തതായി കോൺക്ലോസ് ബാൻഡിന്റെ ഒരു സൂപ്പർ പെർഫോമൻസ് ചാടിയാൻ പോവാണ് സോ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു പെർഫോമൻസ് നിങ്ങളെ വീറ്റ് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് അതിനുശേഷം നിങ്ങളുടെ ഫാമിലി പ്രോഗ്രാംസ് എല്ലാം കണ്ടിന്യൂ ചെയ്യും സോ അതിനുശേഷം എക്സൈറ്റിംഗ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഡി ജി പ്രോഗ്രാമും ഉണ്ട് സോ നമ്മുടെ പുറകിലായിട്ടുള്ള ഫോട്ടോ സെക്ഷൻ കണ്ടിന്യൂ ചെയ്യുകയാണ് നിങ്ങൾ ഇനിയും ഫോട്ടോസ് എടുക്കാനായിട്ടുള്ളവർക്കൊക്കെ വേദിയിൽ വന്ന് ഫോട്ടോസ് എടുക്കാം ഈ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള നൈറ്റുള്ള ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഈവനിങ്ങിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ മെമ്മറിയിൽ അവരുടെ നിങ്ങളുടെ പ്രസൻസ് അറിയിക്കാനുള്ള ഒരു സമയം കൂടിയാണ് സോ അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ നമ്മുടെ കോൺഫ്ലുവൻസ് ബാൻഡിൻ്റെ ഒരു സൂപ്പർ പെർഫോമൻസ് ഇപ്പം തന്നെ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ പോവാണ് സോ സ്റ്റേ ട്യൂൺ So ladies and gentlemen now that now that the rain has abated a little bit So ladies and gentlemen now that the rain has abated a bit we're going to continue with the program for the evening So we have Confluence taking center stage and they'll continue to regale us with their fantastic music. Those who are looking to take some pictures with the bride and groom can do so on stage. And around 10 p.m. we'll have the family performances followed by DJ Hari at 10.30 p.m. So ladies and gentlemen, shortly now, Confluence back on center stage
You are all ready to listen music again. Thank you. Yenga vitto, yenga thoranga na unnu puriye lai.
நிஜமாவே இந்த பாட்டுலாம் வாசிக்கும்போ நம்பவே முடியறது இல்லை அல்லது தூக்கத்தை அடக்கவும் முடியாது எஃபிபி இல்லைங்கிற நீலத்தை பிரித்து விட்டால் வானத்தில் ஏதும் இல்லைங்கிற மாதிரி எஃபிபியை பிரித்து விட்டால் தமிழ் சினிமாவுக்கு வேற வாய்ஸ் இல்லைங்கிற மாதிரி போந்துட்டே இருக்கு நான் மலரை வாசிக்கிறேன் நிறைய கிளாஸிகள் சொல்லியிருந்தா நான் ரொம்ப வாசிக்க முடியல பட் இப்போ ஒரு காப்பியில் இதில் ஃபினிஷ் பண்ணுறதுனால நான் அந்த ஒரு ஒரு பஜன் ரொம்ப ரிக்வஸ்ட் பண்ணால் அதை மட்டும் நான் லைட்டாக பல்லை மட்டும் வாசி
test. So ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna, we're gonna have a quick breather from the music and we're gonna have a couple of family speeches. So first up, from Prashant's side of the family, we'd love to welcome his aunt, Sunila Prasad. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good. Yep. Good evening and namaskar. My name is Sunila. I'm Prashant's mom's sister, so Prashant's mostly. And um, if I may say so, myself is favorite auntie. Okay, the favorite auntie part is self-proclaimed on my part. So apologies to all of Prashant's aunties and those in the room, including my sister who's watching from Sydney by live stream. Firstly, on behalf of Sunil, Karun, and our family and friends, our heartfelt thanks to the Krishnamurti family for your love, generosity of spirit, and genuine welcome. We have been truly touched and feel extremely privileged to be sharing this wonderful occasion of the marriage of your beautiful daughter, the stunning Sinidhi, to our precious Prashad, this captivating Kovalam. Prashant's family and friends, please give it up and show your appreciation to the Krishnamurti family. We have come from all parts of the world to your shores. We have flown in from New Zealand, Australia, United States, Canada, Fiji. This is a testament to the love and regard with which Prashant and his parents, Khalil and Karun, are held. And also, a strong desire to show all our support to Prashant and Sinidhi as they begin their new and exciting journey of married life. I'd like to give a very special shout out to the senior members of our family who have made the long trip. My mom, Sickness and ill health will not keep her away from her grandson's wedding. Rajen Mama and Gulban Mami, our mom's brother and wife. Deepa, their lovely daughter, thanks for bringing them over. Prem Premila Mosi, our Minna Mosi, my mom's younger sister. I know it was a challenge. Thank you, Pramita and Ara, her daughter and grandson, who are here from Melbourne for keeping her sane. Uncle Jack. We are so privileged to have you here from the U.S. His lovely daughter, our cousin Beverly, thank you for making the trip with him. I also feel I should make a special mention of our U.S. and Canadian family. Our cousin Bruce, the 24-hour delay, the lost baggage, jet lag. Thank you. We are so glad to have you here. Prashant's cousin Eddie from San Francisco, Eddie, despite the um, painful Indian visa application process, I hope it was worth it, and we are so glad you could make it. Now, a bit about the man of the moment. Prashant Ravindranath Lakshman was born in Wellington, New Zealand on 10th June 1993. The eldest son of my sister Camille and brother-in-law Karun. He was the first grandchild from his mother's side of the family and a beloved addition to his father's side of the family. He was joined by his younger brother Siddhan eight years later. Prashant was educated at St. Mark's Church Primary School and Scots College in Wellington, New Zealand. He then moved to Dunedin in the South Island of New Zealand to, to earn a Bachelor of Neuroscience and a Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery from Otago University. This, as you can imagine, was a source of great pride for the family, but also a testament to Prashant's determination. Now this determination was already evident as a wee toddler. Once when I was visiting my sister in Wellington and I was sleeping in their guest room downstairs, 
At about 6 a.m., there would be a patter of feet sliding down the stair, waddling into the guest room where I was sleeping. To set the scene, it is cold, it is dark, and all I wanted to do was sleep. But Prashant had other ideas. He wanted to play, but there was a bit of a standoff. I refused to open my eyes, but do you think that deterred Prashant? No. He climbed on top of my head, wet nappy and all, physically pried my eyes open with his fingers and plonked his face into mine. I saw that adorable chubby face and relented, gaining his second degree black belt. You would have all witnessed Prashant's snazzy Bollywood moves yesterday, which goes beyond the classic, you know, change life of cats and dog chaser. His suave moves are not accidental, but from childhood Bollywood dance classes, with some legendary performance given in his time. Now, for all of Prashant's um, achievements, it is worth remembering that he stands on the shoulders of those who came before him. Path paved by the sacrifice and hard work of the previous generation to pave the way for future generations. Prashant's parents are both highly regarded and successful legal professionals and stalwarts of the community in Wellington, New Zealand. Camille and Karun met while studying at Victoria University, Wellington. It only seems like yesterday. But trying hard not to reveal anybody's ages, it was more like 35 years or so ago, as I was reminded by our university friends who are here from Melbourne and Sydney to attend the wedding. Shout out to you guys. Hi. Camille and Karun had given Prashant access to every opportunity to develop, grow, and flourish. Prashant's grandparents from both sides of his family were successful professionals and business people. On this auspicious occasion, we pay homage to his paternal grandparents, the late Mr. Subramani and the late Mrs. Visha Lakshman. They are being represented by Prashant's paternal aunt, Tamija and Vanjana, and their husband, Jen. Homage to my mum and Prashant's maternal grandfather, Mr. Rindranath, and his maternal great grandparents, the late Mr. Nikki of Fiji. Now, a bit more about Prashant. The cultural heritage of Prashant's family is an interesting one. His parents, grandparents, and great grandparents were born in the beautiful island in the Pacific called Fiji, about a three hour flight from Australia and New Zealand. Fiji, like India, was a British colony and in the 1800s needed laborers to work in the sugarcane fields to support the lucrative sugar trade. So they looked for the jewel in the British crown, India for laborers. Many families from both north and south of India traveled to Fiji under a five-year indentured contract. The first arrival was in 1879 on the ship Leonidas, and Indians continued arriving in Fiji under this system until 1920. Many of these families chose to stay and start a new life in Fiji. This led to the creation of the Fiji Indian diaspora, which developed into an extremely successful community of farmers, business owners, and professionals. Now Prashant is a product of this community. With the maternal side of the family hailing from Bihar and Uttar Pradesh and his paternal side with Tamil origins. From the 1960s onwards, the Fiji Indian diaspora in search of educational opportunities and better job prospects migrated to US, UK, Canada, Europe, Australia and New Zealand. So the community now has a truly international presence with prominence in various fields on the international stage. This will hopefully pro provide um, uh, Trinidad's family some context to who we are. I would now like to focus on the reason we are here today, Prashant and Srinidhi. I am reliably told that Prashant and Srinidhi first laid eyes on each other whilst working at the emergency department at Wellington Hospital. 
I'm also led to believe that no patient care was compromised in the process. And I'm confident that that was the case. When my daughter Vivi asked Prashant, what made him want to marry Shri? And he said, she is smart and she is good. An irresistible combination, I must say. I have met and spoken with Sumiti on FaceTime and met her for the first time in person, walking into the day with her a few days ago. I was delighted to find that my nephew's assessment was spot on. However, to Srinidhi, I must say, even more impressive is that you have conquered a mountain in winning the heart of my sister. She has nothing but glowing praises for her future daughter-in-law. And just quietly, you know, she's quite a hard woman to please. You are the daughter, Srinidhi, that Camille and Peru never had. So welcome to the family, sweet Trinity. Let me um, finish with a little anecdote about 12-year-old Bashar. I happened to be at his house when he was getting ready for a school dance. And let me tell you, that tub of hair gel got a really good workout. So off he went, bright as a button, spiky hair, flashing his trademark smile. When he returned, I excitedly asked him, how did it go? It was okay, he said, looking slightly downcast. He said, but none of the girls danced with me. Oh, he was so sad. I wanted to give him a big hug. Don't worry, Peta, I said, there'll be a lot more dancing, and you will get the best girl. Prashant shuffled away, looking less than convinced at most of the tents to soothe his disappointment. Well, here we are, 17 years later, and I can proudly say I was right. Prashant, you found the best girl and a dance partner for life. Ladies and gentlemen, we seem to have come a full circle. The significance is not lost on us that our forefathers left the shores of India about 143 years ago, and a fifth generation descendant has returned to India to get married. Of further significance is that Kovalam has been Camille's spiritual happy place. In the local school there, but fortunately or unfortunately, they didn't like the play. Nor did I when I started working in the hospital there because of various political issues and all that. The most important thing was that I couldn't get a good work-life balance there. It was 365 days on call and, you know, never-ending work all the time, which was something that worried me. And when children said, we also don't like the place, I had no hesitation because my legs are never steady at one place. So we moved back to the, to the UK again despite protests from several family members, right, and then decided to stay on there for about uh, another 10 years, when again the whole thing uh, started again. My mother, uh, in between, actually when we were in Dubai, I lost my dad, and then my mom was alone, so I had, uh, you know, she was so close to me, now my mother, sisters are here, and you know they are really really part of uh, our our big family and i i owe uh, my respects to all of them who have made their way from mumbai to come over and bless us on this occasion thank you perime chiti and all others who came on this occasion so after the death of my father when we came back to uh, india and settled down for about uh, two, three years in, in Cochin, I was thinking that, well, that's going to be the end of it, which was never, as I already said. My mom never disagreed on that. And then we went on back to the UK and her health steadily declined. And as a result of that, I was, uh, I was rather uh, in a state of mind to say that, you know, I need to be with my mom. And so decided to take up a job in a tropical country and so 
the next move across continents we move we move from uk to singapore right and then we stayed there for about 3 years when i decided that no i don't need to stay there because 3 months after i moved to singapore i lost my dear mother in india in this very trivandrum and you know i i didn't have uh, a pleasant memories of that so i thought i will go back all said and done life has been really kind to us even even after all these mishap moving across continents and children i would say a big salute to them because they have adjusted themselves across all the various continents that we moved across throughout their education and i would say srinag as well as srinidhi both of them came with flying colors in the uk and uh, you know three and they have they have shown their leadership skills and all that i would say that uk is what has shaped them to the current level and you know we have no doubt in their uh, capacity abilities and all that till this day now we thought that that is the place where we would be but as as we said as i said already you know we decided that we are not going to be there and i moved back to my second home again dubai about 3 years after i left about a year after i left singapore and we we worked there for about another 5 years and decided that we are going to settle down in trivandrum and came here it was exactly at that time that sridhi said i have found my soul mate and we we in fact before that what happened was uh, you know my son got married in 2017 and interestingly our sambandhi that is uh, srinath's wife aditi's parents are from auckland so that was our first new zealand connection and then when we went to new zealand in 2019 before the uh, the start of the covid and all that Srinidhi was already was already there doing a, a, a one year something like a certificate course in emergency medicine and she didn't, never said anything to us but now i understand that even when we were there she already had prachant she had found him but she wasn't sure whether they were going to be uh, you know uh, tied in or they were going to be engaged and getting into a wedlock situation all said and done that you know we believe that you know things will happen as has been this time and i have no regrets on her choice at this time and i am indeed thankful to all of you who have made it to this occasion including her a plenty of friends plenty of uh, relatives and certainly relatives from uh, prashant side of the family and i i certainly owe uh, all all sort of uh, respects and regards for all of you who have attended made it to this occasion i don't think that i have anything more to say at this point but i am certain that srinidhi will be a, a, an asset to the uh, kamil and uh, uh, and karun as a daughter in her family and we would certainly consider uh, prashant as equivalent to our own uh, sweet srinath and that is all the promise that i can give you and and thank you all for attending or coming to this great occasion thank you very much you know in all the years that i've known the man i've never known murti chitaba to um to be unprepared for anything his plan b has a plan b most times so for him to actually go on stage and deliver something so heartfelt without any preparation is i think the purest form of love that he can show so thank you so much chidapa ladies and gentlemen dr s s krishnamurthy So we're not going to invite um the confluence band uh back to to continue uh their set. What we're also going to have is uh, a presentation that um 
Sridhi and Prashant, uh, friends, um, cousins, have all gotten together and, and put together. So that will be playing on, on the big screen, and then uh, we're going to have Confluence back on stage. Minnadi, the Pade cinema Lala Sambun Ramanam and Sangam together on the double interval film. A very conference we got double interval for this concert. <laughs> but nice. Or a break, we can have another section. We can start from there. So, you should get time for that. Thanks a lot. And one more uh, happiest thing I want to share with you that Maria, we will have another engagement, then wedding, concert device. But full of engagement, full of wedding. That is the chance for the customer. So, thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. And in the body of our Indian patients, we have a lot of people who are in the world. So, we will start with an old song. Thank you.
thank you thank you i'm very sorry and i request you that the double monitor la class edupom usually inga the tuition class romba double monitor la class edupom so oru laptop la da illa oru monitor la da camera irukum adutha monitor la ava irupa so ipo indha class la paakumbo namma indha monitor la paathirukom பட் கிளாஸ் நடக்கிறது இந்த பக்கத்து மானிட்டர்ல நடந்துட்டு இருக்கு அவ பாக்கும்போது இப்படி இருக்கும் பட் கிளாஸ் இப்படி நடந்தது நம்ம அவ பாப்போம் பட் அவளு பாக்கும்போ இப்படி இருந்துட்டு எனக்கு அது பார்க்கவும் முடியாது ஐ கே நாட் என்ஜாய் தட் அண்ட் யூ ஆர் நாட் என்ஜாய் த மியூசிக் ஆல்சோ ஓகே சோ இஃப் யூ விஷ் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு பிளே ஜஸ்ட் பிப்டீன் மினிட்ஸ் ஆஃப் சம்திங் தட் யூ கேன் ஸ்டாப் அண்ட் யூ கேன் என்ஜாய் ஆஃப்டர் தட் தட் வில் பி பெட்டர் ஐ திங்க் சோ எஸ் ஐம் சோ சாரி எனக்குறதுக்கு <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
இது ஸ்ரீநிதியோட ஸ்பெஷல் ஆஃபராக இருந்தது தென் வி மூவ் டு த லாஸ்ட் ஐட்டம் இட்ஸ் அ பஜன் வரும் இல்லையா நிறைய ஜோலி இருக்கு இல்லை இருக்கு ஓகே ஒரு டூ சாங் டூ எஸ் பிடி யா ஓகே யா பஜன் நடக்க த்ரீ ஓகே ரைட் 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 Check. 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 When I told you a guy in my head, I don't know why I'm not going to be suitable for this part. If you have a song, you can hear it in the instrument. That's a beauty. I can't hear it. I can't hear it. I can't hear it. So I don't know. I've learned a little bit of fruit. So I wish to play a uh, percent of the song. In front of you, it's a beautiful, beautiful melody from FTB and Janaki and that you recall Kapala Manch Hello
थैंक यू Thank you. The last part, John. That is, two parts. Only four parts are there. Okay, that's music. Okay, last version. You can also enjoy. It is the last part. Don't you all enjoy? Panna. Namma yengar ko mendar thale engar dille. Namma over marriage le namma gonda arathe engar dille. Sheila Matsundra Purvosan. Enge me. So this version belong to uh, Rama. Pibare Rama Rasa. Thank you.
the music on the line we can all participate Ram Ram Jay Ram Ram Shri 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 Ram Ram Jay Ram Ram Can also sing with your son
Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the performance of the Confluence Band this evening. We're now going to have a uh, presentation from a video, really, from uh, Prashant's family. That's going to be playing on the, on the big screen. And then we will have a dance performance from, uh, from Prashant's family as well. So um, we're going to have a couple more things lined up. We're going to start with the, uh, with the presentation. Thank you. 
Testing, testing. Yeah, yeah. Everyone hear me right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, volume. Volume. Testing, testing. One, two. More gain. Hello, hello, hello. You yeah. hear me? That's better. Yeah. Sweet, That's sweet. Better. Cool. Uh, I just want to say something very quickly, sorry. Moye, Titipua, Moye, Tafito, Moye, Tikahuana, Riki, Moye, Tafikina, Tua. Oi, Katakina, Te Mauri, Kote Mauri, Ahanoa, Kiru, Tiene, Tama, Kiru, Tiene, Tawira. E, Tukana, Kote, Whai, Oro, Tane, Te Waiora. Tene, Te Matatau, Kai, Te Whakatū, Tare, Waki, Te Rangi. Uhi, We, Ro, He, Prasha, Me, Shrinati, Me, Araha, Toku, Araha. Homie, Hui, E, Tai. I just wanted to say a very quick blessings um, and all the best to Trinity and Prashad. Uh, we love you very much and um, all the best for your amazing life together in the future. Um, I'm going to play a very quick song. I know uh, this has been dragging on, so I'll make it very quick. Uh, I'm going to play a traditional uh, Māori song from New Zealand. Um, if you know the words, feel free uh, to sing along. Uh, this song is called um, Ko Kare Kare Ana, and the, um, the, the chorus is all about um, ehine e, which means uh, my lady, poki mai ra, come back to me, kamati a ho, I will die each out of my ears if you don't come back to me, my love. So this is a romantic song for Prashant and Shinadi. <laughs> Maori is the indigenous and uh, the language of the indigenous people of uh, of New Zealand. So um, that was the that was the language in which he uh, said uh, the wishes and uh, the song that he spoke about. survived.
Can everyone hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so it's, 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 it's a long night. Can everyone in the back hear me okay? Yeah. No? Definitely. Can't hear me. I'll come and talk to you after. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow, yellow, 
बड़ी सॉलिड मस्ती चाहिए हेलो हेलो तू मुझे हेलो हेलो known as the Kashi Yatra. And so thank you everyone for your patience as we dealt with multiple things here. 
but we got to watch some incredible talent. Thank you all. See you all tomorrow morning. I also add that it was a beautiful and charming evening where there was a lot of sharing and caring. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.